Self-love is possible for anyone, even if you think you're the world's biggest loser. You can turn this around by following just a few simple yet powerful habits. I know this because I came from a place where I really didn't like myself at all. Uh, Shortly after a breakup with my ex-girlfriend who cheated on me. Uh, But I managed to turn it around to become the man you see today. (laughs) And um, the game Global Coaches, they all come from like a similar place where they really didn't like themselves and struggle to attract women because of that but they turn it around as well and now we've all made careers of, of helping men to uh, build themselves up to love themselves and to have women love them as a side effect of that but in my role as a dating coach I'm often recommending these self-love exercises or inner game hacks because self-confidence really is the most attractive personality trait that a man can show to a woman. It affects everything, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself, the way you, the energy that you present to your romantic interest of the woman who stood in front of you. So with that in mind, I'm going to present to you 10 self-love hacks to help you skyrocket your self-image. So let's go. All right, so tip number one is to start doing things that you're proud of. This is perhaps the most effective self-love tip that I can deliver to you, okay? Because when you're out there, you're doing things that make you proud. Um, Self-confidence, self-love, fulfillment, these are all emotions that are gonna come as like a consequence of you doing things that are difficult that you're proud of achieving, okay? Now, if you're someone who doesn't love themselves, I'm going to go ahead and guess that you haven't done a lot of things in your life that you're proud of. And make no mistake about it, these two facts are linked with each other. So my advice to you would be to to get out there, start trying new things, start pushing your boundaries, start doing things you're proud of. And these don't have to be momentous things either, okay? If you're fat, you hate exercising, you can start by taking a jog around the block. If you have social anxiety, you can start by trying to meet five people today. If you are lazy and you really haven't achieved anything in life at all, then you can start by writing a simple to-do list for tomorrow and, and completing the, all those tasks and ticking them off, okay? Now this first day of trying new things that make you proud, it's gonna seem daunting, but that is what makes it um, fulfilling. This is what's gonna fill you with pride and fill you with self-love when you finish, okay? And your next job after that is to keep it going, to build the momentum, set yourself some more tasks that make you proud, something that's perhaps 1% more difficult, okay, for the next day, and then again for the next day and the next day, okay? Build momentum with this, try to become 1% better every day, and you will become 37 times better in one year's time. This is the math of the, the compound effect, okay? So if you're really serious about, in one year's time, being someone who you're really proud of of what you've become and what you've achieved. Start today, build momentum, start by doing things that make you proud. Slightly better every single day, okay? Being as this is a game channel, why don't you go ahead and practice day game? Try and meet new girls two a day for 30 days straight, okay? This isn't only gonna give you uh, an element of self-love and pride, but also you're going to improve your skills with women, your outer game as well. You're going to become way more effective at uh, talking and flirting with women. And that's going to make you feel really great about yourself as well. Okay, tip number two, you're going to need a pen and a notebook. And I want you to write down 50 things about yourself that are awesome. These could be uh, physical attributes. It could be personality traits. It could be things you've achieved in the past. Okay, this list can include obvious strengths and hidden gems that no one else knows about you, okay? Now, this exercise is effective because it's difficult. 50 is a lot, okay? It's gonna force you to really stretch your mind and have a real think about all the different things that are awesome about you. And you should be beaming, beaming with uh, self-love by the time you finish, just for the fact that you finished this exercise, okay? From there, I want you to have your list handy either written down on your notes app on your phone or stored away in your bedroom somewhere um, so you can reread it whenever you need like a, a top up of self-love 
Tip number three is to start writing a gratitude list. Now this is as simple as writing down five to 10 things each day that you are grateful for. What this is gonna do is gonna shift your mind to start looking on the bright side, to have an air of positivity about you and this should transfer to the way that you look at yourself and, and your life in general, okay? Highly recommended, get on it. Tip number four is affirmations. Now this is something that Kieran recommends a lot and why not? Because your words affect your thoughts, your thoughts affect your belief and your beliefs affect your self image, okay? It's as simple as uh, staring in the mirror and reciting a uh, fact that you want to be true about yourself, okay? I. I'm so charismatic, I am fantastic to be around, I am successful, I am a handsome motherfucker, okay? Now your body language with this is really important as well, that's why you should be staring at the mirror, you should have your arms spread like a champion, you should be screaming like a gladiator in the arena, I am a sexy motherfucker! I, I just feel amazing having only done that once, okay? See the smile on my face. Tip number five is the inner child exercise. This is something that's a bit out there. It's created by Game Global founder Kieran Callum himself. It's, it's a visualization exercise. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna speak to your inner child. If I was to describe this fully, I wouldn't do it justice. So I'm just gonna leave a, a ticket for you to click to watch the video that Kieran made about this exercise. Go ahead and watch that. This could be the most life-changing exercise in this video or that you ever do. Tip number six is to start helping other people. Now, generosity not only makes the world a better place, it's also gonna make you feel a lot better about yourself as well because you are making the world a better place, okay? Once again, this is the game channel. Why not start by going out and just complimenting five women that you see, telling them that they look fantastic, okay? You don't even need to try and get something out of them in return, okay? You're just out there spreading love and making the world a better place. This is going to do the world of good for your self-esteem, okay? And it's a really good, actually, starting point for your day game career if you're someone who currently suffers from approach anxiety or like a lack of self-love. It's just to focus, for now, on complimenting women, making their day a little bit better, okay? And then from there, you can progress to having longer conversations, swapping contact details, going on dates, all that good stuff. Tip number seven is to meditate. Now, meditation has a ton of mental health benefits. Um, now, as far as self-love, probably the biggest benefit is it's gonna really limit the, um, the negative self-talk that comes in your head. Now, meditation, which is the practice of sitting still, focusing on nothing but your breath, for 10 to 20 minutes. Um, if a thought pops into your head, you don't panic, you calmly acknowledge it and then move your thoughts back to your breath. Now this is gonna help you separate yourself from your thoughts. So when that negative chatter does pop up in your head because you hate yourself and it's telling you you suck, you're gonna have the option to like accept or reject that thought because you've separated yourself from it. It's not a part of you, it's just something separate to you that you can choose to ignore or accept. Okay, also frequent meditators regularly report feelings of joy and euphoria just from the act of meditation itself. So that's something else you can look forward to. Tip number eight is to cut toxic people out of your life. Now perhaps the most regurgitated self-help tip of all time is uh, from Jim Rohn. He says, you are the average of the five people you hang out with the most. And it's true, if you're spending a lot of time with people who do not make you feel good about yourself, of course this is gonna have an impact on your self image, okay? So I want you to make the brave step of, of cutting these people out of your life, okay? Absolutely, whatever benefits they bring to your life, they're doing more harm than good for you overall if they do not make you feel good about yourself, okay? So just focus on finding new friends who are positive, who are happy, and who love you, and this is gonna do so much to help you love yourself, okay? Now, if you're on the lookout for new friends who are positive, I'm gonna recommend uh, you take a look. You hop in to our Gabe Global groups on Facebook and Telegram. We have groups for over 300 major cities across the world. Um, single guys looking for wingmen, looking to discuss the sorts of topics we uh, talk about on this channel. You can go ahead and join your local group at gameglobal.net forward slash groups. Now, tip number nine is to forgive yourself, okay? 
it's no use beating yourself up for mistakes you made in the past, okay? We're all human, we all make mistakes. Self-forgiveness is really gonna help boost your levels of self-love, so I'd recommend you get really good at forgiving yourself. And tip number 10 is to stop comparing yourself to other people, okay? There are people out there with a worse hand in life than you, with a higher level of self-love than you, okay? And a big reason for that is they are not in the habit of comparing themselves to other people, okay? I'm just gonna use height as an example. I can't think of anything else. Um, there are guys out there who are five foot 11 and they are kicking themselves because they're not six foot two. They would love that, okay? But then there are five foot eight people out there who wish they were five foot 11, okay? And there are five foot four, five foot five people who are loving their life, lots of friends, great hobbies, pulling girls, enjoying who they are, have tons of self-love, and most likely that's because they're not comparing themselves to other people who have more than them. Okay? And just to round off this thought, there were probably six foot four, six foot five people who Wish they were just like maybe only six foot one because then they wouldn't have to bend over to talk to people, okay? Blah, blah, blah. Comparing yourself to others is a fool's game because there's always going to be someone who has more than you, okay? If you have to compare yourself to someone, compare yourself to your previous self from the past. That is the only person it makes sense to compete with. Anyway, that is your video. Those are your 10 self-love hacks. Uh, myself and Game Global co-founder Kieran Callum, we have written a book. It's called Four Weeks to Unstoppable Confidence. This is essentially a series of challenges to help you boost your levels of assertiveness, bravery, charisma, and your overall feelings of self-confidence. Now, these challenges, they start off really, really simple and easy to start off with, but they slowly build in difficulty over time, okay? So if you can build the momentum by taking on one challenge a day, then you will have the ability to skyrocket your personal levels of self-confidence to unstoppable heights. All right, these are uh, the challenges. Some of them are what we've explained in this video here. Others are what we reserve for our one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching clients. They'll be available for you to access for the price of a book. So to learn more about this book, click the link in the description and the pinned comment my name's Joe Alvin, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you real soon.